Hi, I'm Johnny Engineer, called Nedpot Engineer, because I made the government drop the charges against 4,000 people uh, in 2003. So I certainly approve what Ron Paul says about getting rid of prohibition in the United States. Uh, as for getting out of Afghanistan, I agree. I don't believe that the Taliban did 911. I think those was an inside job by engineers, and therefore we're chasing the wrong guys in Afghanistan. We should all leave, so I agree there too. But when it comes to the economy, every time they ask him what he's going to do, all Ron Paul can answer is, is let it liquidate. Let the crash and the foreclosures continue and take place and devastate everybody and eventually the free market will bounce back at some point. He has no answer because he thinks there's too much money in circulation. Like during Germany when they had wheelbarrows full of money and the store shelves were empty. But you'll notice that right now store shelves are full and people's wallets are empty. So this is not too much money inflation shift A caused by the Fed. This is too much foreclosure, shift B, for the money, chase less collateral, shift B, and caused by the Fed charging interest. So he thinks it's the Fed's printing money that's the problem, and I say it's the Fed's printing money and charging interest on it that's the problem. Printing money in exchange for good, useful work done by citizens, that can't hurt. He can never come to the solution that we have to issue a new kind of time-based currency. He's in favor of looking for a gold mine and letting him liquidate till he finds a gold mine. Well, that's not a solution in our Star Trek world. And I'm Johnny Engineer Termel, and I vouch that the best basis for currency in a human society is an hour of time. And you'll hear more about all the hour systems spreading around the United States and the world in anticipation of the crash. People are getting their economic lifeboats ready and those that do will be prepared. Those that don't will suffer more. But all these lifeboats will join into one big one someday. So Bill Mahar asked Ron Paul what his plan would be and he could only say he would do nothing. He would let the companies that are in trouble liquidate, which is almost all of them. And they say it's going to be worse than the last depression. And in the last depression, uh, 7 million people were liquidated by poverty. And with a population now two and a half times bigger, they what are supposed to submit to an elimination of 18 million people by poverty this time around until the market, the free market restructures itself. As long as he keeps pushing the gold standard of money, he'll never have an answer to someone like Glenn Beck who asked him and said, don't tell me what you wouldn't do, tell me what you would do. And the first thing he said was, well, I'll tell you what I wouldn't do. And Beck interrupted him and said, no, tell me what you would do. And all he could say was, let it all liquidate. There's a way to avoid the liquidation by using community currencies. Here, just since I got back from picketing Obama, this was discovered on the net with my Google alerts for time banks and usury and community currencies. Time bank popular in East Oakland, California community, February 16th, 2009. Guy says, first I was reading about the Echo Park time bank in Los Angeles, and now I see a very popular time bank in this East Oakland community, and that's the Sobrante Park District time bank, and there's a website talking about them. Then, on February 16th, Michiana money is the new community currency in South Bend, Indiana. And, of course, from the Durango, Colorado Telegraph on February 19th, Trading for Sustainability, the La Plata Skills Trade Collective. And then the Eureka Time Bank to gather in Sawwood in Eureka, Arkansas. An article by Molly Fitzpatrick, which led me to the Portland Time Bank Exchange. Automakers Time Bank System protects jobs during economic downturn by Carla Thomas. From engineeringnews.co.za, German luxury car maker BMW South Africa will not only will not lay off any workers in the short to medium term despite declining auto sales. And they say that the company will be able to bridge out the workers over the gap using a time bank system. On the time bank system, workers can withdraw time that they've banked during good times, thereby protecting jobs during difficult times. Another example, of this is commercial use of time bank. Smart. Why don't Ford, GM, and Chrysler do the same thing? And then here's an article from the Daily News, the New York newspaper, outsmarting the financial crisis with time bank people exchanger skills instead of cash. 
Flash by uh, Ron Sak Queen and uh, December 6th. And it basically says that Bletch has opened two bank branches in New York and she's preparing a third one. She expects the economic meltdown to boost her clientele. That's for sure. Her clients don't deposit and withdraw greenbacks, but time dollars. At least 300 time banks have been launched in 28 countries with 50 in the U.S. But in New York, there wasn't a local branch in Bletch until, backed by her employer, the Visiting Nurse Service of New York, set one up in Washington Heights at the end of 2006. Well, what are the other nursing associations? waiting for. Set one up too. The branch attracted more than 400 members. The second got 80 members. In this hard time, people are looking for ways to save money. So he found a sense of community again when he joined the Time Bank recently. The members not only help each other, they get to know each other, said Poon, who earned time dollars by teaching members how to make sushi at a monthly gathering. He plans to spend them on learning Spanish songs. So I can sing the beautiful woman when I travel to Spain, he said. Well, did you know that they'll take your hours in Spain? five hours a night for accommodations and there's a big network of time banks in Spain now. I traveled all over Europe paying for an IOU back in Canada worth five hours. You can too. Why pay cash? What with, with what's happening on Wall Street we're going to see an explosion of time bank memberships it says. Yes. There's a time bank conference happening June 25th and 27th in Madison, Wisconsin. Wouldn't it be neat if Kucinich with the Democrat congressman and Senator Paul could show up at this important time dollar conference in Madison, Wisconsin. You know, bring others with you. Learn how time banking can save your country. And another article in France, a système d'échange local on the RFI English, whatever that is. Here's a great article, Jerusalem Post. No time to lose. Uh, for students and young professionals who are living on a tight budget, there may be an alternative to pay for entertainment and services in Jerusalem. Create more as a social project and a solution to the current economic crisis, the Time Bank, run by the youth in the city, invites its participants to be part of a barter system where transactions are measured in hours, not shekels spent. And that means you can probably pay a five-hour bill to go stay in Israel, and those guys can spend their five-hour bills out of Israel to come and stay all over the rest of the world, like I did. And it goes on, uh, I've never felt this good about being in such a system. The idea is to give and also receive. That's right. Put in your hours and get some back. That's fair. 204 members to date. Well, this is not the only time bank that exists in Jerusalem. It's the only one that operates on a specific population. It caters solely to the city's youth. The other nine are run out of neighborhood community centers and serve the general public in each geographic area. And if they print paper hours, then they can intertrade. Big system. So, goes on, it really strengthens the community and they are building a new website that will allow participants to sign up online and facilitate the matchup process between merchants. Well, go shop and find out what they have to offer in Jerusalem if you go visiting there as a tourist because it costs nothing almost uh, for accommodations and you only need your airline ticket. And finally, from Russia, we have a $150,000 grant from the Charles Stewart Mott Foundation to the Nitsi Novorod Voluntary Service that will develop the Time Bank Volunteer Brokering System in Nitsi Novorod and ultimately the surrounding regions of Russia. And the staff will undergo training in the use of the Time matching software. So all over the world there's starting to switch over to the time standard of money with barter systems and now that it's worldwide it's going to make intertrading very easy and it's up to you Ron Paul and your buddies Dennis Kazishin talking about monetary reform to forget the gold standard of money and the collateral standard of money houses and stuff and start looking at the time standard of money the Star Trek standard of money we don't need some antiquity that really never worked in the past when we can have the ultimate which is based on human time and power all humanity to be equal to a piece of gold. So, Ron Paul, there is something we can do. We can spend new interest-free currency into circulation, putting, putting everybody back to work, and that doesn't cause the problems of spending interest-bearing currency into circulation. Social credits spent, not anti-social credits spent, that create the death gamble mortgage. So, Ron Paul, we agree on so much the only disagreement is on whether inflation is too much money chasing the goods or same money chasing less goods. Shift A inflation or shift B inflation. But if it's not shift A inflation, if there's not too much money, then refusing to have the Fed or the Treasury create new money 
is going to aggravate the problem when the solution found in Argentina was the creation of more currency, just interest-free community currency. So, you have some homework to do. I'm specialized in banking systems. This is my bailiwick. And I think it's your duty and your responsibility as one of the leading monetary reformers out there to look into whether the time standard of money, which was endorsed in Millennium Declaration Resolution C6 at the United Nations for a time-based currency to restructure the global financial architecture, can be added to your gold standard and the current property standard of money too. We must empower mankind with credit at a bank, social credit, sociable credit, equal to the credit you can get with a piece of gold. So do your homework, Ron Paul, and stop being stumped by these guys and going down in history as a do-nothing candidate during this Great Depression looming in front of us.